All right, everyone, let's do some Cosmos review today. All right, there they are. The, the one in the front is the Purity variety and the one in the back with the red bloom, that's the Dazzler variety. I sew these um, on April 19, 2024. So it's been close to 100 days now. In order to do a good review on both of them, I came up with different categories to review each one of them on. And these are the categories. First is time to bloom, then height, stem strength, bloom quantity, bloom quality, foliage quality, pest issues, and overall aesthetic. The score will be anywhere from one to five, one being the worst and five being the best. Let's just do an overview of all of them. So these are the purity again, they bloom white. Here's that one. Right, let's go over to the Dazzler. And have one small one right there. As far as overall aesthetic goes, you can see that the Dazzler looks a little bit better than the Purity. So I will give the um, Dazzler four out of five and the Purity three out of five. Let's look at the time to bloom. So I noticed that the, the um, Purity, most of them bloom like the, like the package um, says, 70 days. However, the um, Dazzler, only one um, plant, and it's so small. So that plant um, was blooming around that 70 days um, time frame. But this one right here, as you can see, um, this just bloomed, uh, I would say, a good maybe a week or two ago. And then there's one in the back right there. I think there was one that was blooming. Um, one bloom came out um, pretty much after most of the, the purity. And then you can see there's one bloom right now. So definitely the purity bloomed like um, for the most part like um, it's supposed to. So because of that, the Dazzler will get one out of five and the purity is getting um, four out of five. Now let's look at the height to see if the package um, is correct. So the package um, stated they would get um, 36 inches, three feet. The purity anywhere from two feet to maybe 4.5 feet. And with the Dazzler um, between, I say 2.5 to around 3.5 um, or even below that. So for the most part, on average, I think it's um, pretty good. It's basically um, according to what the the, the package um, stated. So I will give each one three out of five, so not bad. Now let's look at the strength of the stems or the stem strength. You can see that with the purity, most of them are being supported by something. There's only about three plants that I could see that are standing up straight. That one, that one, and that one. All the other ones are either leaning with no support or they're all have been supported. Actually, that one is not supported either, but it's really tiny. Okay, let's look at the Dazzler. This one is leaning. Leaning with support, no support, some support with the rocks underneath. I think I do have a couple of rocks underneath with support without support over here. 
So you can see that a lot of them need support. So because of that, I am giving the Dazzler two out of five and the Purity one out of five. The stems are not too strong for Cosmos, but I think a lot of people know that already about them. This time we're going to look at three different categories. The quality of the blooms, the quantity of the blooms, and the um, quality of the foliage um, all together. Let's look at the Dazzler first. You can see the foliage is nice and full and lush. The blooms are beautiful. These are older, of course, but let's look at a younger one. See how beautiful that look? And I love the color. And it looks so beautiful with the Stellar Ruby Magnolia plant in the back there. So they are so beautiful. Like magenta, dark, deep magenta color with yellow in the center. So this is the only plant with numerous blooms. And like I mentioned, it's close to 100 days. They're supposed to be blooming already. This one just came out and have more buds coming like that also. Let's look at the one, the ones that are leaning. Even though this is leaning, look at how beautiful the foliage still looks. This is one is leaning too foliage is still lush and very um, full. Now let's come and look at the purity. The, um, the foliage is not very, I mean it, it is lush but it's not full. I don't know if it, it could be that it just looks like this. It doesn't look bad at all. That's a pretty healthy one. Let's look at one that's not healthy. Partly because of the, um, the quality of the stem, it was leaning over and it may have impacted the stem on the bottom. And of course, it led to the foliage not looking so good. And look at the blooms on the purity. Still beautiful, That's these are older blooms. Let's look at a younger bloom. This one right here is beautiful. White, white petals with yellow center like the other one. I just love the blooms so much on both of them. Let's look at this one, this one is so big. Look at how big these are one on top of the other, so pretty. And you will notice that the purity has a lot of blooms. Almost all of the plants have blooms or they have buds. All right, so for bloom quantity, Dazzler gets one out of five and Purity gets four out of five. For the bloom quality, both get five out of five because they're so spectacular and so beautiful. And for foliage um, quality, the Dazzler gets um, five out of five and the um, Purity gets two out of five. Lastly, let's go over pest issues. All right, so from what I read, Cosmos are supposed to be pretty much pest free. Now, the good thing is I have not seen deer munching on them. I have not seen like um, pest issues like aphids, um, maybe spider mites. I'm trying to think of all the different um, bugs out there. Beetles. I have not seen any of those. But surprisingly what I saw were ants. Ant bed over here, over there. I think either on all of these right here, or just um, a couple of them. I can't remember. What I saw was that the ants were crawling their way up 
and they were finding some kind of food source at the buds. So the buds somehow provided some good um, food source for these ants and they were just nicely making their homes around the um, base of the of the stems of some of these. Because of that, they kind of struggled. And I did not realize that they had been attacked by ants until I saw some of the ants crawling up. And then that's when I looked at the base of the plants and noticed that they were just ant mounds all over these poor plants. Luckily, I did not see the same thing for the dazzlers, which was kind of interesting. So I am not sure it was just by chance that it happened that way. And maybe they, the ants could have um, attacked or injured all of the um, dazzler plants as well. I am not sure about that. So I'm so glad that these um, cosmos were not affected by any other issues except for the ant issues um, on the purity plants. So because of that, they, the plants have suffered. I'm going to have to give um, the purity um, two out of five and the dazzlers um, five out of five. All right, now let's go over the overall scores. For the dazzler, 26 over 8 with a score of 3.3 out of 5 and with the purity 24 over 8 with a score of 3 out of 5. So you, so you can see both um, are getting 3 out of 5 but with the Dazzler um, doing a little bit better with 3.3 .3 instead of just 3.0. So three out of five is not bad at all. There are definitely pros and cons to each variety. With the Dazzler, the time to bloom is not really 70 days. And because of that, the quantity of blooms not very good at all. So maybe the time to bloom should be around 100 days to maybe 120 days. With the purity variety, the con has to be the um, stem strength. And the reason this, the, the strength might not be as good also was the fact that it was due to the ant issues. So, and then of course the ant issues led to the stems being weak which also led to the fact that the foliage doesn't look too good. So you basically have one issue leading to another issue, leading to another issue, unfortunately. But the good thing is, despite all of the cons, both varieties produce beautiful blooms and produce beautiful um, quality of bloom. So that's definitely a great thing um, for us as gardeners. Knowing what I know now, would I still plant these varieties over here where I have them right now? Yes. The reason I planted the Cosmos over here was because I wanted the height. Because on this side, it's a lot more full and it's, it's higher in elevation versus here. And I wanted something where the the two sides would kind of um, be around the same height and i think um, it's looking really good this year um, the way that the cosmos have have you know raised up this side of the bed so i like the cosmos doing that um, a lot so what i would do differently is plant um, one, two, or maybe three woody shrubs that could support the cosmos over here. And then I think it will look just so spectacular. Going forward, I know to be looking for ant issues with the purity and then with the, um, the dazzler, I know that I should not expect them to bloom in 70 days and just know too that with gardening you know we all have different environment different soil type 
all the variations that we all go through as gardeners. So just because these um, plants are not what the, um, the package says, it doesn't mean that in an ideal situation they would not be looking beautiful, looking um, be the same size, um, you know, without any pest pressures and all that. So as gardeners, we just have to um, adapt and kind of figure out what works for us in, in our garden. If you have not grown these two varieties, I would recommend them. You can see that the blooms are so beautiful. Just know that um, they, the stems are weak and you might have to stake them or just know that you have to stake them. They would do a lot better if you were to plant them around other plants that could support them a lot better. Otherwise, these are plants that are easy maintenance and they have been so easy for me to take care of other than the fact that I needed to stake them and take care of the, the ant issues. I think it would be so worth it to give Cosmos a try. They're so beautiful, they're very wispy and they just look like you're in a fairy tale garden. Just imagine if I had these all blooming and a lot more um, full of them. And I can't wait to um, save the seeds and start next year and see how how much better that they will look. All right, with that, I hope you found this video enjoyable and helpful. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, take care and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching this video, folks. Please make sure to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on anything.